I got into trucking as soon as I turned 18, right out of high school, started applying for jobs. I worked kind of manual labor jobs for a few years, but the whole time it was like shipping and receiving or stuff. I was working around trucks the entire time. And I got talking to the drivers, talking to the money they make. I always enjoyed driving, so pretty much a month after my 21st birthday, I said, screw it, why not? And applied somewhere and off I was. No, not, I don't have any family history directly. I'm adopted. And I found out a couple years after being adopted that apparently, like, my birth father was a truck driver over in Russia. And I completely forgot about it until about a year and a half into trucking. I was talking to someone and just clicked, and I'm like, oh, trucking's in my blood. And I completely forgot about it. The managers aren't up your butt about stuff all the time. Safety's not up your butt. You're left alone to do whatever you want to do. And it's more they trust that this is your job, you know how to do it. I definitely make a lot more money than I used to, which is always a positive. Happier, definitely happier. My old company and places I've worked, I wasn't exactly happy with. I've seen more things, had more life experience, and my relationships with my family has improved. Well, I want to stay here. One, like my managers, I like most of the office staff. They're always super helpful, super friendly, and they pay me enough to stay here and not complain, so that's always a good thing. The culture here at Bay & Bay is definitely not as much as a corporate feel or like a company feel. I definitely don't get the feeling whenever I talk to people that I'm just a number. If I walked into the office to come talk with my manager, people that are his boss say, oh, hey, Greg, how are you? They notice me, they recognize me, they have conversations with me. And I mean, it's just a very inclusive and friendly place to be. I have been to the Special Olympics convoy that Bay & Bay participates in every year. Basically, it's a huge truck convoy that happens here in Minnesota. It's always a fun time. You know, athlete rides in the truck with you go on this big convoy, everyone's happy to see you just blare air horns the whole time. It's just a fun, great event to be at. Every time I come to terminals or even when I'm on the road, I've got other drivers calling me or texting me like, hey man, are you coming into this terminal? Or hey, are you coming up here? If you are, we should hang out, let's go get dinner. If I come up here and I see someone's truck I recognize, I know I can go over, knock on their door, sit there, hang out, and go out to eat whatever. It's always a fun time whenever you're hanging out here. I would highly recommend coming here Benefits are great. Everyone's super friendly, super nice. Like I stated previously, there's no managers or safety constantly breathing down your bed, making sure you're doing your job because they've hired you because they trust that you know how to do your job. They work with you, everyone pays you great, benefits are great, and honestly, the management team's fantastic. I chose the design of my truck. Mental health is a big thing for me, and it's not very much talked about in the trucking industry. I came across photos of stuff like that with the black on green, and one, I thought it looked really eye-catching. It stood out, but I wanted to have the message of the mental health, but also kind of go with a more classic style, just lines down the side of the truck like the older trucks did. And I passed that idea around, and we came up with this, and I think it turned out fantastic. I think it looks really good. My rap means a lot to me. I've had friends that have sadly taken their own lives, and I've had myself had struggles with mental health. Trucking is a place where depression, mental health issues, the odds of it happening when you're getting it definitely elevated. So you're alone in your truck for so long, you're on the road. And it's more or less there to tell people it's okay to have these problems, it's okay to not be okay. What's not okay is just not talking about it, not going to someone, not even saying to someone that you trust, maybe you don't wanna really talk about it or get sorted through it but just telling them that you're not okay is a huge first step in getting it done. And hopefully the cost of this wrap, if it saves even one life, it's totally worth it to me. I think taking pride in your truck is a very important thing. And all of us drivers when we're driving down the road or even at receivers, the first thing we see is the exterior of someone's truck. And I know myself, I see a beat down, dirty truck, I think, man, that guy didn't give crap. And taking pride in your truck, you're representing not just yourself, but the people you work for. And it puts a good view for the company, puts a good view with your customers when you roll up in a nice truck. And it just makes you feel good, because I don't want to drive around in something that looks like crap, all dirty on the inside and on the outside. You want to take pride in it, because it's not just a truck, it's your home while you're on the road. It's your office, and you want it to be nice. I get other drivers passing by, you know, giving me a thumbs up, waving. People saying, I love your truck on the CV. I mean, drivers come up and talk to me about it all the time if I'm in the terminal. Or, I mean, it's all over the social media pages now. So, I mean, people like it, and I love it. T680 drew me because one, it's fuel efficient. You get more storage space, more or less, with the cabinets. 
but the new 680, my new 680, has got a better engine in it. It rides great. It's fuel efficient, and I mean, it just looks good. And you feel massive. You feel like you're the king of the road. You just sit back, relax, just doing your thing. You got your music or your podcast playing, and you just feel like you own the road. Obviously, you got to have respect for everyone else, but it just feels awesome.